With us, they go to the villages. Oh, right. Every week. Yeah, every day. What they do in the village? They organize the women and they communicate to them what's happening in the society. By reading the newspaper, they get the information that they communicate and have a dialogue with them and, and try to closely follow them. And uh, in their villages, if some help is needed, they try to do. And recently, we are trying to organize the school children and uh, trying to give them a tuition help. Like, uh, we, are, we have gathered the school children in three villages. So we have formed th three tuition centers. So there we, we go and uh, teach some songs and help them for their studies that do. Otherwise, in 20 villages, they go and organize the women. Could you talk about <laughs> you were this small? When I was thinking of this, that's why I laughed. Immediately what came in my mind is, when I was five year old already, I have danced the dance which I taught by my mother, which is a folk dance. We were eight children in our home. <laughs> On Christmas Day, we eight of us were with the coal out of stick. And my mother and father used to sing. We eight were dancing. <laughs> For that particular dance, call atom, now our girls were doing, eight persons are needed. <laughs> so we were eight and we were doing that. That was the first dance I have. Uh, I danced and that was taught by my mother. Uh, so later on, uh, I was doing different dances, even classical dance I have learned, Vardana team I was doing. Then for the last 12 years, I am fully in line with the folk dances. <laughs> My father added to the church activities, he is like a very social activist. The whole village used to call him Papa, which means father for everybody. So he was in that way, he was helping to many people. He remains a model for me. So when I was young, I used to go with my papa to help in the jail. When the jail people were there, I used to conduct prayer with my father to them. And I was not at all for joining in any congregation, but I like to work as a social worker. But my family did not allow that. Um, my mother was telling it is not possible. So they were arranging for the marriage. I was also for married life. Uh, they were trying to arrange it, but uh, the time came to say no because the boy whom they have arranged wanted to remain at home. He didn't uh, want me to go to the hospital to conduct the prayer or to join the choir. From the age of eight already, I was in the choir. I was a singer, so I go to the church for the choir, and he said not to go for the choir. And I can give a speech very well. He said, you may not go to different villages and give a speech. So I said, father was giving a talk. While giving talk, he was expressing that we can breathe in, but we cannot hold on. No? We have to breathe out. The same way he was telling, we have received so many talents. God has given us a chance to live. The way we have to use it for others, we may not use it only for ourselves. You, not, you may not be selfish for yourself. You have to use all your talents for others, otherwise you are making social scene. So that made me to reflect. You know? So by marrying this man, what am I going to do? I'm going to be a social sinner. So what shall I do? That, that became very confused stage. Then I talked with my papa. I used to talk and discuss with my papa uh, like friendly way. So when I discussed, then we came to the decision that it is not fair to marry a boy and be in the, inside the four walls. Um, you can be a social activist, but you need later on security. What shall we do? Then I chose this particular congregation because our sisters 
in this congregation are allowed to do social work. As we prefer to work for the people, we can plan and do it. So I chose this particular congregation and my papa allowed to join. At that time, I was 25. Your father Such said a funny okay. story. <laughs> so, so your father said it's okay. It was painful for him to painful. leave me, yeah, leaving the whole family and choosing this life uh, because I was very much attached with my father. So it was very painful for him. But anyhow, he said, if you will be happy and do the will of God, go and continue. God will help you, he said, yes. And your mother? Mother found it very, very <coughs> difficult. <laughs> he was not, she was not at all willing to send me. For one year she did not talk with me. I came, I came and joined. After one year I went for holidays. At that time only my mother talked. Then afterwards she became all right. Now they okay. They both expired now. Why we have festivals? Because we are all human beings. <laughs> we have life, so we need to celebrate it. Only thing during the festival time, we can celebrate life. Every coming together is means a lot. A single person cannot celebrate. They cannot have the joyful moments in life. They can feel only loneliness when they are alone. So when we are together, we are happy and we share with one another, we eat the meal together. That gives more strength and energy. As a religion base speak about uh, so much conflict, I feel the art is humanistic. It, uh, it has to reach all the people, you know. Uh, that has the value to reach out, um, apart from the caste, the religion, religion, anything. So we, based on human person, we reach the people and we celebrate. Uh, our, our group members are Christians, Hindus, Muslims, from all the religions we have. Today, you received new members. Yeah. What do you tell her the first day at Shakti? The first question she asked through phone was, can I join you? I said, yes, please come, I said. That's what I could say. That's it? Yes, then she came. Then we started talking with her. What is the background, why she would like to be here. Then she explained. She also couldn't uh, go for higher studies. Some family problems, she has to drop the school studies and uh, she, she comes out from a Muslim family. So family background is very strict. Apart from that, she would like to come and learn something from here. Then I said, yes, you are most welcome, join us. So she joined us. Do you talk with the, her parents? Her parents didn't come. Didn't come. The, they are the problems the family. Only her brother came. He said uh, he and her mother likes her to be with us. Then I said, okay. 